Okay, Lee Summit North, this is a follow up how to video concerning Destiny Discover ebooks, which are ebooks mostly for research. Uh, today, this video is going to be about how to take notes and export those notes in Destiny Discover ebooks. So, under our read tab, it'll say find an ebook research versus find an ebook. Uh, which is Overdrive, mostly fiction books. So we're finding an ebook for research. We click on that, takes us to Destiny Discover. Remember, it's going to ask you to log in. I think I'm still logged in from the last time. Nope. So when you log in, if you're in your Chromebook, it should be pretty simple. You hit log in. It's going to say sign in with Google. You're in your Chromebook. You're already signed in. If you're at home, sign in with your school email account. Then come back to the library and click log in. Notice my picture with my son's up there. It says Nathan Lee Summit North High School. Uh, again, I can search all of the physical books in the library because this is the same system. But then we also do have several ebook titles. Uh, you can search and it will give you results uh, for ebooks and I'll show it. I'm going to go back to uh, kind of the class I'm making this video for creative writing. Uh, we have lots of books regarding science, human body systems, careers, also some about creative writing. Notice the difference here. This is a book we have in the library. It says call number and gives you a physical location versus an ebook. Uh, to check it out, you simply hit check out. And then when you've checked it out, you can open it or you can preview any ebook by hitting open. Uh, I've already checked out that book, so I go ahead and hit open. Again, I have the navigation tabs to the right and left. Once it downloads, I can change the font up here. I can even have it read aloud to me. Once the text loads, which is sometimes takes a second because it's a whole book, then I can start highlighting. When I highlight something, it gives me lots of options. I can play it in audio. I can do a Google search. I can get a definition of a word. I can search a word throughout the rest of the book to see how often it occurs. I can simply highlight it, give it a color. Or I can come over here, find another uh, piece of text I want to remember, highlight it. I might highlight it a different color because on these, I'm going to add a note. Add a note, hit save. Then once I've added notes, uh, several notes, I come back up here to our menu. And here are my bookmarks. That's pretty useful. But when I click on the note feature, it gives me all the highlights and all the notes that I've taken. Timestamp, I can edit them, I can throw them away. I can also export them. So I'm going to export it to a Google Drive document. I hit sign in with Google. It's going to give me a little authentication box. It'll probably ask me to authenticate, allow. Uh, and then once I do that, it shows up as a document in my Google Drive. So here's an example. Uh, it, it titles the document with the title of the book. I open it. It's going to have the title of the book, the author. Then it's going to have all my notes and highlights, uh, the notes underneath the color I highlighted it, and when I took that note or highlight. That could be a pretty useful system for you, and it's pretty easy to get back to the book since you have the title, and your notes are saved to your account. So if you check out a book, then return it, and then check it out again, your notes and highlights should still be there. All right, that's how to take notes within Follow It Shelf, our Destiny Discover, uh, different names, same system, right here. Ask if you have any questions.